what's going on welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about a platform which i recently discovered which is super awesome and it's called made with ml which was built by goku mohandas who i also had in my podcast and he's a former nlp researcher from apple and the platform is super awesome so if you're a beginner or intermediate user or even an advanced artificial intelligence guru i would say you can use the platform to find really what you need let me give you like a quick description of the platform, what it is, and I'll then show you a little bit around what you can do on the platform and how to use it. So Made with ML, as you can see right on my desktop, is basically a platform, as I mentioned, and you can discover, build and share what you've basically made with machine learning or any artificial intelligence application. So you can share your GitHub link and then publish it on the platform. So to get things started, let me give you like a quick introduction to Made with ML, and then I'll show you around on the platform and how you can use it for yourself. So what is Made with ML? It's basically a platform where you can discover, build and share what you have made with machine learning. And whatever you're trying to decide what to read today or you want to learn, you can basically find everything on that platform. The big problem is, at least what I have, is when I go to Twitter and I find something super cool, I usually send the link to myself and save it somewhere for later. And with a platform from Goku, you can basically save everything in a so-called collection and have some kind of kind of Spotify style or where you can save everything. So that's super cool. And the platform isn't that old, it's it's quite young and it has already over 4,000 users, which is like incredible. And an important thing to note here is that Made with ML is completely free and is completely community driven. The main motivation and the big advantage of this platform is that you can basically find everything curated already on the platform. So it's not just research, but you can basically find everything there. So it's from ranges from articles, videos, tutorials, code itself, podcasts, courses, etc. And it's super awesome. And I'll show you in a few seconds how you can navigate through the page. What is also important for the page, and I'll just want to make sure that you don't have any misconceptions about the platform. So Made with ML is already curating and tagging everything. So everyone, including you, can find quality content for the exact topic you're looking for or what you really care about. What I really like is also the slogan of the website, which says your one-stop platform to learn, explore and build all things machine learning. One thing I want to motivate you for is that you create collections. So that means, let's say if you learn about a framework, for example, PyTorch, you can create a collection called PyTorch Newbie, and then you can put everything inside of there. It's, it's basically the same as a Spotify playlist. So you can put it in there and people who will find your PyTorch Newbie collection can have a look at it and they might be super happy and super surprised that a newbie put together a collection with very beginner friendly tutorials. So that's super cool. Without further ado, let's now jump onto the website and let's see what we can find there. So this is the starting page for Made with ML. And as you can see in the top right corner, I'm already logged in. So you can log in with your GitHub profile. If you scroll through, you can see the trending projects or collections. What you can also see is that you have the trending material on the start page. So you can also go by latest if you want, or you can go by week, month, year, or forever. What you can also see on the right hand side is that you can immediately share your project, share someone else's project, or you can join the community here on Slack, which I'm already inside. So I would highly encourage you to join the community and actually participate in discussions. Another thing that you can find here is the learn tab. So you can learn by topics or lessons. And this is super cool, really, I really love that. So you can see, you can learn by frameworks. So you can learn about Python itself, NumPy, Pandas, and so on. You can learn by algorithms. Here you can see NLP, computer vision, miscellaneous concepts, and so on. So I don't want to explain everything. Just make sure to visit the website and I'm sure you find what you need and what you want to learn about on this website. So let's just go to lessons and on lessons you have the machine learning basics here. Let's just click on it. And if you like it, of course, you can give it an upvote, which I'm doing right now. You can add or remove it from your collections. You can find here the resources. If I now click on code, it will redirect me to 
the GitHub repo from Goku, which you can see right here, and there you have basically everything you need. Awesome. Uh, here you can also find top collections, for example, on the right hand side, similar projects. You can share the projects via LinkedIn or Twitter. And you can also see some information about the author. In this case, this is Goku. So you can also connect with him on LinkedIn, follow him on Twitter and so on, which I highly encourage you to do because he's a cool dude. Moving on here on Explore, you can see projects. If you want to explore projects, you can see this here. It's basically the same, almost the same as the starting page as we have seen. Then go to collections. There you can see the collections that other people have already created. So it's basically like a Spotify playlist. So let's just have a look at a random one. Let's say Transformers, which is most likely about NLP. So what you can see here is the project and here are the Transformers and here's the Transformers collection, as you can see. And Goku has six projects inside of this collection, which is super cool. So you can find whatever you, you, whatever you need or whatever suits you. What you can see is the Data Science Incubator. This incubator that I just mentioned is super awesome. And what you can do there is you build an end-to-end -end machine learning application. It's completely for free, it's non-profit and it's community-led. That's super cool. So if you want, make sure to participate there. I would really encourage you to try it out and visit the website. That was my quick and crisp review about the Made with ML platform. There might be things that I haven't covered, but I really wanted to show you the platform. Maybe you don't know about it. Maybe you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced user and haven't heard about the platform. And I think it's really, really useful. If you want to see more reviews of these kind of platforms in the future, or maybe about a nano degree program from Udacity, you want to see a review from that, for example, which I'm currently doing, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this platform, if you have used it, or if you want to use it, and also make sure to share with your friends who might benefit from the video. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out Goku's Twitter, and of course, made with a Mail website. I'll link everything down in the description, so make sure to check it out. With that being said, thank you so much again, and make sure to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next video. Peace.